Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. And today I have some fantastic news for all of you system builders and would-be PC gamers out there because the graphics card mining market is currently in a downfall and is approaching imminent death as Taiwan-based graphics card manufacturers like MSI, Gigabyte, and PowerColor are all expecting a 40% decline in the month of April for their total graphics card sales as Ethereum ASIC miners are readying to hit the market. So this is kind of the day you've all been waiting for if you've wanted, been wanting to upgrade or you're sitting around waiting to finish a system build but you couldn't afford a thousand dollar GTX 1080. Prices are starting to normalize and you, you can expect them to get even better over the coming months. This report comes over courtesy of Digitimes as they have said over here, Taiwan-based graphics card makers including Gigabyte, Technology, MicroStar International, or MSI, and TUL, that's Power Color, are expected to see their shipments for April plunge over 40% on month, as many clients have suspended taking shipments in response to the drastic slowdown in demand for cryptocurrency mining machines, according to their industry sources. Going on from there, they continue to say channel distributors and larger mining farm operators have cut orders with makers of mining graphics cards and mining motherboards or asked them to, sus to suspend shipments due to the crypto mining craze waning abruptly from the beginning of April, as sources have said. Now, really, the it's not necessarily that mining is going away in any way whatsoever. Mining is definitely still here and still thriving, but the efficiency of using graphics cards to mine popular coins like Ethereum is starting to become so difficult that it's no longer cost-effective to use them, and also the fact that ASIC miners are starting to become available is going to be affecting this greatly, which we've discussed previously on the channel. This is kind of, you know, reminiscent of what happened with Bitcoin just a few years ago, where it came, when it first came on the scene and gained popularity, GPUs were very hard to find. It was the main source of mining Bitcoin, and then eventually ASIC miners became available, and Bitmain is the one leading the charge this time around, as they've confirmed earlier this month that their first batch of ant miners are setting to hit the streets in July, and they were already taking pre-orders for them, which are completely sold out. If you head over onto the Bitmain website, you can see for a single miner, they are asking for 800 USD, but it is completely sold out, and they're even restricting the number of units that you can actually buy, and especially in certain regions like Taiwan, and China, and you can actually find these things if you go over on like eBay. People are already selling their pre-orders for around two to three thousand dollars in some cases. So it looks like even so, it looks like now the uh, the miners can have to fight over the ASICs, while us gamers can possibly reap the benefits of graphics cards now being more readily available on the market. Especially since so many of these companies like MSI, Gigabyte, PowerColor, EVGA, take your pick have ramped up production to help kind of feed the need of the miners that were buying up all of these graphics cards. As DigiTimes goes on to say in their article, they said, in line with the shipment drops, gross margins for graphics card makers are expected to fall sharply to 20 to 25% from a high of 50% enjoyed earlier as makers and channel distributors are forced to slash prices for sales promotion. They hope the market demand can rebound in May or June. So basically what they're saying here is that these manufacturers that are going to have overstock on a lot of their graphics cards as they ramp up production, they'll have to basically make these cards available at a reduced cost and really probably just coming down to what they should actually be from the increased MSRP we've seen over the recent months. So I think that that's great news for everyone out there and this has already been evident in the market as I talked about this in my build video yesterday with the prices on the GTX 1080s. If we shoot over to Newegg and I'll leave a link to these cards that we're all talking about down in the description below if you want to check them out. Those are affiliate links, they help to support the channel, yada yada yada. But if you look at something like the Gigabyte GTX 1060, that's selling for $330. Just a month or two ago, you were looking at like five to six hundred dollars for this card which is ludicrous for what it is. This is a six gigabyte version of the GTX 1060 selling for $330, which is a little bit more than what realistically what it should be. If you look at the GTX 1060 six gigabyte when it first launched back in June 19th of 2016, kind of crazy to think that these cards are selling above MSRP almost two years later. 
Um, but yeah, it was 299 USD when the GTX 1060 first originally came out from NVIDIA. The GTX 1070s, you're starting to find some available. They've got a Zotac over there for $550. That's a 1070 Ti, I should say. The 1070s themselves seem to still be pretty much slim pickings. You can get a hybrid 1070 Ti for 570. If you look at the GTX 1080s, you've got those available for $620. They've got an EVGA one here, as well as the MSI, and I believe the MSI one, yeah. The MSI one even has a rebate of $20, making it available for $599, which is what the MSRP was on the original 1080s when they first came out, not including the price drop that they eventually saw when the 1080 Ti's became available. But this is just really all good news. This is good news for gamers. It's good news for system builders that have been waiting to get these cards. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the eventual death of the GPU mining craze, which is you know starting to be, become quite evident as you see with the prices coming down. ASIC miners becoming available, and now we can all just sit back and laugh as the miners have to fight over the ASICs, as even those are going to be in short supply, as Bitmain is really the first one to come on the scene. I'm sure we'll see other companies come out into the market, you know, in the coming months, but right now it's really just Bitmain kind of leading that charge. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I always look forward to our discussion as always. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already and if you have been here for a while and you don't want to miss a moment of content in the future you can always hit the notification bell so you know as soon as something goes up here on the channel and i will catch you guys tomorrow for another video ta and happy gpu buying boys